crank it up. about to shake, mix, and stir you up some crazy concoctions. Tonight, we bring you the ultimate Miami bartender from Stage 305 inside Magic City Casino. Miami offers an assortment of delicious drinks from bartenders throughout the area, and these are our top eight picks. Only one will walk away with the title of ultimate Miami bartender and that $5,000 prize. Okay, so this is how it's gonna work. All eight bartenders have individual stations set up where they're serving up their special drink. The audience will participate in round one. They'll walk around, sample everyone's cocktail, and vote with this purple chip on their favorite. They'll put it in the box. Then we'll count all the chips at the end of round two, and the top two bartenders will move on to round two, where they'll participate in a time challenge that includes a special ingredient. My name is John Lemaire. I've been bartending uh, for 20 years. This is what I do for a living. This is all I'll ever do for a living. What I've done is I've landed myself into a career that allows me to be creative, allows me to travel the world, and it, there's just a lot, lot of excitement involved right now with, with being a, a, a bartender in the United States. I want people to see bartending not as just a part-time thing you do while you go to college, but I want it, I want it to be viewed more as a, as a professional career. My cocktails are always inspired by the guests that I'm serving, right? So as a bartender, one of the arts is figuring out within that 10 seconds that you have when someone orders or asks for a recommendation, uh, what you could get to their glass to make them the happiest. I've met John before. Now, I've known him actually for a very long time through mutual acquaintances and everything. I think he's an awesome bartender and he's really, you're gonna be somebody to watch. What are the drinks? What's in the drinks? What are the ingredients? So it's 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 one drink, and we're using a uh, Cuban style rum with a uh, with a Spanish brandy that's vanilla flavored called Liquor 43. So you get uh, good sugarcane rum with vanilla using black walnut bitters. Uh, lemon juice and pineapple juice and a, t a tiny bit of agave nectar. Then we shake it fresh and we top it with a little nutmeg. So what you get is a full flavored drink, a little bit of spice in the front, tropical and kind of smooth in the back. My name is Isaac Ergas, I'm native of South Florida. I've been bartending here for over 22 years and uh, currently I'm the director of a 786 Bartend, the bartending school. There's a lot of things that make a good bartender. Um, obviously you have to make great tasting cocktails and know your recipes, but you have to understand how to deal with clientele. Uh, a bartender is someone who, who serves customers behind the bar and so is a mixologist. For me, a great cocktail really consists of creating balance. When you can create balance with a variety of ingredients, that's what really makes a great cocktail, knowing what can, what can go with what. I think I can win this competition. I know what it takes to, to succeed in this industry, knowing all the characteristics and traits that it would take for a bartender to do exceptionally well in this industry, especially in South Florida. Isaac, um, as a bartender, I do not know what to expect. I'm like, then again, he is a bartending teacher half the time, so I've never really got to see him what he could go and do. Those who can't do, yeah. teach. Teach. And it seems like you're taking a lot of time to really explain to people about the drink. What are you telling them? Well, I'm really telling them about what makes my overall cocktail what it is, so they can get an understanding of what they're tasting. And then uh, maybe, you know, uh, be able to make cocktails on their own by understanding ingredients and how they kind of combine with each other and how they mesh. So I want them to get the overall flavor, so every time they take one sip, they kind of get a feel for what the palate is going to is gonna feel and taste for every sip they take. Uh, my name is Edwin, aka Paz Pro. I've been um, bartending for the last two years. I think one of the things that inspires me uh, a lot is 
just meeting new people, kind of getting a perspective and trying to read into what their likes are and being able to create something and bring it as near as possible to matching what they were expecting, you know? People know about us, Catarachos out here. We, we're passionate people, we're motivated, we're innovative, we're always into new things. And uh, yes, I think I can win. It's, you know, it's a competition at the end of the day. So, you know, you have to think you can win. Everybody has their own way of doing things. I got my own style. I'm gonna bring something to the table that, you know, I don't think other people are gonna be able to do because, you know, I'm me, so. Are people skeptical about trying something that they've never maybe seen before? No, I think it kind of catches people's interest. You know, they kind of visually see it and they, the first thing they ask is, what is that right there? So, you know, I kind of give them a little schooling on what nonce fruit is, which a lot of people don't know about, but it's uh, very native, specifically here in uh, Miami, for sure. I've never seen it like that, though. Yeah, that's the, non that's the actual nonce fruit itself. It takes a little bit of procedure to get it well done. You got to be able to grind it and get it right tasting, and then a the little bit of a... Uh, the pineapple leaf that we use for it, coconut reduction, and the uh, maracuya, we call it in Spanish, which is the passion fruit. I'm Courtney, Courtney Lash. Um, I've been bartending down in Miami for well over 12 years now. I grew up in a small town in Norwich, Connecticut, where the bars, by the way, close at 1.30. I do have a master's in literature and I still bartend. I'll give you a guess at which one is a little bit more lucrative. I love teaching, I love reading, I love writing, and I love bartending. My favorite thing to drink changes a lot, but the one go-to standby that I always have is a very dirty, very dry gin martini. It has to be with blue cheese olives. Makes my day. Absolutely I can win this competition. I think every person that Magic City Casino has chosen for a finalist has a shot of winning the competition. I just don't think they're as good as me. I would say Courtney is probably one, not one of the smartest people I know, but she's up there. I mean, she's a college professor and she's a bartender. She's very, very smart, very witty, has a quick comeback for everything. I think uh, Courtney will stand out just because people are gonna be more focused on her because she is the one female. But I think it's also gonna bring some pressure on her also. Courtney, I can already, I don't know you, but I can tell you're a super girly girl, are you? Oh, totally. Have you seen my table? It's full of flowers. I had to get edible flowers for the drinks because I was like, we need a garnish. I see, I see orchids. I see, is it an orchid? Is that what that is? Well, the orchids are actually fake, but the little edible flower garnishes come from a botanical garden, and so they're totally edible. My drink is based off of cucumber, agave nectar, and lemon. So it's super low-cal, super spa-like. It's gonna keep you hydrated and refreshed, so there's no hangover, and also, it's gonna get you drunk. It's the perfect trifecta of drinks. No hangover and drunk. Absolutely, that's the way we do it in South Miami. My name's Luis Garcia, a little bit about myself. I'm 23 years old, born and raised in Miami, Florida. Been bartending for the last five years. The art of cocktail, as I like to call it, is just great because you have so many endless varieties. You can do so many different things with a cocktail to complement the food that you're eating, so why not? I mean, I'm pretty, con I'm pretty sure I have an obese woman living in my body, so food, drink, I'm a happy man. <laughs> What's inspiring my cocktails right now is pretty much that we live in Miami. So it's hot, it's humid, but we got beautiful beaches and beautiful palm trees, beautiful weather. So I'm getting my cocktails to be more refreshing so they can enjoy them outside. Because my cocktails are very, they specialize in simplicity because you don't need a whole bunch of stuff to make a good cocktail. I think that Lewis is very talented and I'm really happy to see him here. But I think that with my years of experience, I think that I'm a shoe in and I'm gonna win this thing and take home those $5,000. Lewis is very, very competitive. Um, I've known him for many years and he won't stop until he tries to get his way. He's very a very hard-headed kid. What's in your cocktail? I see some pineapple juice, Dole, which is my favorite. 
Um, I'm using dull pineapple juice because I actually ran out of my fresh made pineapple juice. So. Whoops, did I just spell the secret? My bad. She did. Bad. It's okay, Dole's still great as well. But prior to this one, it was fresh pineapple juice, fresh pear puree, so basil cacao liquor. It's actually one of the first new spirits introduced to the market in over 300 years. Well, hi, my name is Roger Moreno. Um, I'm 31 years old. I've been a bartender for 13 years, worked in many places all around South Florida. Yes, this is my third time around in the competition. I'm very excited. First year, I ended up going fourth place. Um, last year, I ended up going into the final round and got second place. And this year, I'm hopefully going for the win. Winning the competition this year will mean a lot. I think it will validate more that I'm a bartender that, that could do it all. I think this year, me in the competition, I could win this year. But then again, it's all about the popularity vote in the first round. And personality is a key. And I think I have the personality. Roger has so much personality. He has, it's enough for this whole entire casino. <laughs> but I'm not worried about it. I'm really not. I definitely think that Roger does have an edge because he's coming into this competition knowing exactly Experience. what is going exactly. to happen. You know, having having an edge like that, it's it's really great because it kind of calms your nerves and you know what to expect, but it doesn't give you, you know, a winning drink and it doesn't oh. give you a winning personality and it doesn't give you the winning vote. My drink is called a watermelon vanilla magic. This drink is with absolute vanilla. I'm using absolute again, because absolute helps out the LGBT group here in Miami. So I'm also doing something with a cause. At the same time, it has a little bit of triple sec, fresh lime juice, organic watermelon, and organic mint. Topped off with boo. It's Lazaro Leon. Started bartending when I was 18 uh, as a bar back. It was 1982. It was called Fire and Ice. Each time the bartender would make a drink, I would ask him how to do it. And uh, that's basically how I learned. I'm the original crew from Fire and Ice that opened up. I'm the original crew from Club 1235. I'm the original crew from Parallel Bar I opened up that place. And I opened up Club New. And then from there, Joe Delaney's Rebar on Washington. I'm the original crew from there at W6 Lounge. I've been around the block. I would say probably I've worked 11 clubs. I mean, actual club in the last 30 years. You can throw me in any bar and I, I'll make it a drink. That's not a problem. It's, the bartending is not just a job. It's a way of life. It really is. Basically, it's uh, very simple. It's called the Scipio. Um, it is a Jack Daniels. I couldn't leave my cousin Jack behind. So I brought Jack into the uh, incorporated. It's very hard to mix in with Jack because of the sour mash. So I blend it down with amaretto. I incorporated fresh coconut cream in it, fresh squeezed orange juice, uh, mint infused, and then maraschino cherry liqueur. Um, it's, it's a wicked drink. It's a very, very strong drink. But the thing is balanced out. So you can't really tell that it's, it's, a, it's a strong drink. My name is Alexander Nida. Uh, I love bartending, and every single day I come into work, it's like a new experience. You never want to be one of those people that go to work and sit in an office. I used to be a stockbroker in the early 90s. Made great money, but hated it. You want to be able to wake up and not hate life. And bartending affords me that opportunity. The main difference between a bartender and a mixologist, short order cook, and a fine chef. What makes a good bartender? Being able to multitask, being able to have a level head during wild and crazy situations when your bar is four or five people deep, uh, it takes a lot. My favorite drink, a shot of tequila. Uh, it's quick, it's simple, and it does the job. So I like the color of the drink already. It's called the Raspberry Dream. I like the name. What's in it? What's in it? We have uh, raspberry vodka, mint, 
triple sec, a lot of raspberries and uh, lime juice, a lot of fresh squeezed lime juice, Splash Club soda, makes you think of a cool summer day on the beach. In no particular order, he first contestants to advance. Isaac Bernal! <laughs> and the second contestant who advances and is still in the running to win the ultimate Miami Bartender competition and a $5,000 grand prize is. Luis Garcia! Congratulations to all of our bartenders. They did a fantastic job. Moving on to round two are Isaac and Lewis. They're gonna have four minutes to create a cocktail and wow the judges. But there's a twist. There's gonna be a secret ingredient they're gonna have to incorporate into this drink. Let's see how it plays out. Our contestants tonight will have a secret ingredient that must be incorporated into their drinks. The secret ingredient for these finalists is lemon extract. Wow. Let's put four minutes on the clock. Contestants, are you ready? Because your time starts. up guys let's get them over to our judges so they can try them out Isaac so what did you create for our judges today fresh squeezed lemon juice with uh, the fresh taste of ginger botanicals with the lemon extract and I try to bring in a sweetener of triple sec just to sw sweeten it up in a dash of uh, Sprite what ingredients did you use and what did you make for our judges this evening and does it have a name Honestly speaking, it does not have a name because I threw it together as per what I saw to my bar, but um, I use fresh muddled lime, the lemon extract, I use triple sec, uh, Bombay Sapphire, then topped it off with some ginger ale and Red Bull. They both sound so amazing. deserve to be there? I do. Yes, they, their drinks were amazing. Um, and the drinks that they presented to us were amazing. It was a really hard call for me. All right, so you did well. Round one moved on to round two, and then things got a little weird. What did you make out there? I have no idea at all. I was just like, lemon extract, uh, what's going to go well with it? So I pretty much just threw what I had together, what, what I was offered together, and hoped for the best. Isaac? 
You had the longest line. You were taking your time to explain your drink, and now you have the check. How do you feel? I feel amazing. It was a wonderful experience. I can't say it was really humbling to be up there, which is really a lot of fun. Well, it is official. Isaac is the ultimate Miami bartender. Congratulations to him. Join us next time for more Ultimate Miami competition. And for more information, visit theultimatemiami.com.